Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode I'm gonna explain you how to create item stacks, add items to player their inventories and equip armor. So to get started I've already set up a pretty basic plugin, this is just, just gonna be the simple and standard uh, beginning of the episodes probably. Uh, Plugin.yml the plugin is named items with a Z and the main and the version of author doesn't matter and in the main I've coded a simple on enable method and what we want to do is to be a bit more organized we do not want to put anything yeah and you can put anything in here but we don't want to put everything in one java class not in one main we already did this with the commands episode and now we're gonna do this but not with commands but with listeners so to create a new java class which includes a listener we need to first register the class so we get the server and now we have the server and we need to have the plugin manager so that we have, uh, yeah, that we can manage the plugins. And in the plugin manager, we want to register events. So it passes the events to this. I already explained this probably. And we're gonna create a new. So instead of this, this, we want the listener to be a new class. So new, uh, yeah, give items, items with Z and it's gonna return an error because we did not create the class yet so we're gonna create the class just click finish it's already uh, filled in okay now we're inside the give items class java class and what we want to do is we want to give the player a basic starting kit so we want to give them food a sword and some leather armor and to do this we first need to as we already as our already explained to you uh, uh, do not overwrite I mean event handler we need to first listen to the on player join on player join, player join event I already explained all of this in a previous video so I'm not gonna do that again Ctrl shift O for the handy shortcut that implements auto implement and what we want to do is we want to get the players so player player equals e dot get player get player get player and we want to see if the player has played before so if the player has played before has played before uh, we do not want to do anything but since we want to keep our code organized we do not want to have else over here we just you can uh, invert if statements so like now it will fire when the player has played before but if I put an exclamation mark over here at the beginning it will fire if the player hasn't played before so now we have our player uh, or on player join in the custom uh, uh, Java class in other Java class than our main uh, we did this by doing this and what we now need to do is we need to create the item stacks uh, what are item stacks item stacks are just item stacks they are stacks of items doesn't need to be a stack but it's just the way you say uh, uh, yeah a slot contains an item stack if I have uh, five blocks of dirt I have an item stack uh, with the material dirt and the amount five so what's the first thing we want to create is an item stack and we want to just name it food because we want to give the player food and item stack food is gonna be a new item stack and it's gonna copy all the data over from material is dot uh, grill pork grill pork and control shift o to import what this does it, it creates a new item stack with the name food and with the material of grill pork so food now equals grill pork uh, we want to create another item stack called sort sort which will be a new item stack with material dot stone low score sort 
and we want to create an item stack with a chest plate new item stack material dots leather chest plate like that so we now have got three item stacks but they're not in the player's inventory yet so what we want to do is we want to get the player and we want to get his inventory it's gonna uh, give us the player inventory and then what we want is we want to add the item food and we want to do the same for add item sword but for the leather chest plate we want to do a little bit different because we do not want to add the chest plate to the inventory we want to equip the chest plate on the chest plate slot and for that we need to get the inventory as well because uh, the, the armor slots are part of the inventory and what we now can do is just set uh, chest plate to chest plate and what this does is we have the player and we want to have his inventory because we cannot add items to player because player does not have any item slots and just get the inventory we get the inventory and we add the item food. We do not have to check if the inventory is full because player has never played before. So it would be weird if his inventory is full. And just to make things clearer, we want to send the player a message that the starters kit has been added to their inventory. Just like this. And that's it. That's how you create the item stacks and add them to the inventory and that's how you create the armor stacks is the same as the item stack and uh, equip them so let's check it out on the server see you there so we're inside of minecraft i've started up the server and let's go take a look well there it is our items leather chest play it leather tunic in this case but it's a chest piece equipped I've got my sword I've got my pork chop and we did it that's it for this episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like and if you want to see more subscribe thanks for watching see you next time